Might that go away? Yeah. It's no, it's it's not. Like it's yeah, nine points up with five minutes to go or whatever it was. Um, yeah, it's you're always going to feel like um, yeah, that was one that was slipped uh, and we let slip. And yeah, there's a number of things in that last um, probably three minutes we didn't quite execute it the way we wanted to execute. So uh, yeah, it's disappointing. Well, just uh, obviously when. When um, you, you're in those moments, you want the ball in inside the, the contest, inside the stoppage, and re you take repeat stoppages. And um, there's times, well, obviously, Carlton wanted on the outside, and there's a couple of moments where we should have we should have kept it in, got a repeat stoppage. Um, you know, little bits and pieces around that last, um, well, their second last goal, the goal that put them in front, that we didn't execute. So. Uh, you know, they, they came at us all day. I thought we responded all day, but yeah, in the end, we just we got a few things wrong, and they played. They they, they got a lot right. And that's Jackson probably just not prepared for the <clears throat> Yeah, so lead up to Kerno's goal. You know that that shouldn't come out. That should be a stoppage. Um, after our long down the line, um, and yeah, Jacko, we, we we don't hit away from goal and in D50 because that's not where our numbers are and we want to keep them in really tight. So, um, yes, uh, when you when it comes down to a, a kick, um, yeah, little things matter. And when, you, when you're up against good sides and, yeah, you need to execute. So, yeah, it's gonna, there's going to be a lot of moments of those, those sort of moments across the day where, you know, we just didn't quite execute as well as we could, but, you know, they're on, they're on the same boat and in the end they were just a little bit better for longer. Uh, I think I was just expecting our players would just get clarification. <coughs> what was the deception for him? Oh, you'd have to ask them for us. Yeah. Two seconds players after a finish like that, I mean, you know, there's 40 seconds left in the clock, obviously. It could happen, it could happen. Do you say, but to have that deception for a key kind of take away the opportunity, what did you say to the players? Oh, it was another thing we didn't get right late in the game. And message to the players after the game is, yeah, in key moments we didn't quite execute as well as we could have. But um, in the bigger picture and the overall scheme of it, we played <laughs> a good game of footy, and we shouldn't lose any belief in what we're doing and um, the way we're playing. Yeah, yeah. Well, I mean, there's moments in the game where I've, I thought we had dominance, and, and particularly the, the first you know, 40, 45 minutes of the game, and we just aren't putting enough scoreboard pressure on in those moments. So um, yeah, there's, there's, there's a lot we got right. So. You try and be as balanced as you can because they're, they're really disappointed. Do you try and take away from just that one decision that Oh, absolutely. Yeah, there's a million different things we can look at. Um, you know, we got a lot right. We got a few things wrong late, but uh, we pushed a really good side right to the end. And did they even know who the free kick was against for the same tour? Oh, I think it was against Clarkey, but um, yeah, I have to dig a little bit deeper. Is that something you reach out to the league again or the umpiring just to make sure you know exactly what happened in that instance? Oh, they haven't really decided yet. Yeah, should have just got on with it. Yeah, even if they weren't happy with the, the call before, like there's not much you can do. So the, the players clearly thought they'd touched the footy. <laughs> um, and they still say that now, but I mean, that's a really hard call for the umpire to make yeah, but without going to a replay. So and we don't want to do that for every decision. So. We just need to move on because the umpire is ne never going to backtrack, is are they? Like they? So we just need to move on and control what we can control in those moments and give ourselves a chance, like you said. Any word on the, uh, Frederick and Swickowski? Yeah, I look, they look like they've got injuries. They look like Switter um, has got a little calf and Freddie did a little hemi. Um, I've got the, in the third quarter there. Um, how did you see that? Well, the way the umpire saw it, late contact, 50 metres. Yeah, if they want to take it further, they take it further. Like, yeah, don't think it helps me commenting on it. Yeah, so he played up the game. Huh? Yeah, he's fine. Yeah, yeah, which is which is great. And yeah, I was you know, praying he got up because he, he has had issues in the past. And yeah, he's fine. Oh, easy. <laughs> well, yeah, we've had some good wins. Um, you know. 
had some moments where we haven't played our best footy throughout the year and um, yeah, we review it the way we review our, we reviewed the, the first three games, look to get better, look to tidy up those moments. Um, yeah, and next time we're in that situation, hopefully we can close it, close it out, which I think um, you know, over my time here, we've been pretty good in those situations. So, uh, and you know, we, we did some things right in that last you know, five minutes as well. So it's just you know, a couple of costly things against you know, a pretty well-drilled team who made the most of them. Yeah, that's that's the plan. Uh, we've still got to get him through some, yeah, you know, uh, through main training. It's probably the biggest hurdle he needs to, to to tick off. So yeah, if he gets through that, we'll look at bringing him in. Yeah, well, it would probably look like we were lacking a little bit of run um, through that period. Uh, and, you know, it was just such a, it's, it's, it was easy call because it's like for like. And we get you know, it's fresh legs into the wing role and the midfield role and you know, it felt like that's where we needed it. Jimmy, you called last night's game, which would make it important, particularly their midfield dominance. Yeah, they look good. <laughs> I haven't, yeah, try and focus on, yeah, the opponent you're playing. So, yeah, don't focus in on it too much, but yeah, they were like, pretty dominant centre bounce and through the middle of the ground and had some really strong performances. So, yeah, we'll review this one and prepare well for next next week and put our best foot forward. One part from today, Jeremy Sharp, I thought was really strong. Great addition. Yeah. Someone you picked up for free. Pl playing his role really well and, and you know, building his game week on week. So, yeah, he's had a super pre season. He's made a Im big impact over the pre season. And, yeah, he's, he's getting reward for effort because he worked his backside off. So, yeah, it's good to see. Thanks, everyone. Good work. Thank you.